So today is a busy day in the barn. We are doing teeth floating and yearly vaccinations on all of the horses, both ours and the border horses. We've already gotten quite a few done, but we're going to go ahead with our horses now. Some of the mares are not going to be getting their teeth floated because they are either really close to having their babies or are possibly pregnant, so we don't want to stress them. Um, but they will be getting their vaccinations and then other horses will be getting the works. So let's get started. So she's at 320 days today. She foaled at 325 last year and has never gone past 333. So we probably need to do her full alert pretty soon this week. Okay. We let you stay over by your food. Which two are those? got the strangles and the boxes. So strangles, we usually do up the nose, but because they're pregnant, they did an IM version, which is like an in the muscle version. Hello. Beyonce. Day 330, I'm in a wedding, so I know she's gonna have it that day. Where's the wedding? It's not far. It's just at Saddlewood Farms, like down the road. So if she, all but her first baby ever, she's had after breakfast. So she like ate breakfast, laid down, popped it out. So if she were to continue with that trend, then I could possibly be on time to hair and makeup at 9.30. <laughs> so this is Jordy. He's my show horse that I've barely gotten to show because things just keep going wrong. Um, he was doing so well in training and then um, he colicked and had to have colic surgery. So he's at home recouping now. When did he have his teeth? Was it last year when last he had his year. teeth done? Mm -hmm. I feel like every single time we get his teeth done, they're like, has he had them done? So I don't know what he does because... Well, I mean, they're very smooth. Oh, are they? Yeah, he, okay. he, he's not sharp. He got them done last year. And he had them, had them done like midway through the season, the show season. Oh. Was he at... at um... Kyle's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I asked her last night before we did this, I said, has Jordy had his teeth done? And she said, no, because he missed it. He was at the vet clinic. Okay. He's got a little bit of overbite. A little bit of an overbite. <laughs> right. A little derpy boy. Now the Coggins is the name of a test. Okay. And they're testing for equine infectious anemia. Gotcha. So that's the only thing that blood tests for. Because you have to have a Coggins if you go over state lines, if you even if we went to a saddle club down the road, you have to have it yeah. pretty much to go anywhere with a horse. I just gave him a little sedative. We'll float him. It's not gonna take much of a float. I mean, he's pretty smooth. But we can check back on yeah. the back and make sure he doesn't have any points and he's ready to go. They wash their mouth out first just to make sure they get all whatever they've been eating out and get a clear look at the inside of their mouth. To kind of evaluate their teeth. We do this yearly, um, see if they have any points on their teeth or any problems. So horses, people ask me all the time, like, well, horses in the wild don't get their teeth floated. I'm like, yeah, and they die a whole lot earlier. And the ones that don't do well don't make it. Yeah. Because it'll have good teeth. It'll make it hard for them to eat. And all, the other difference is, you know, you guys are feeding like the creme de la creme hay, mm -hmm. super soft, and a lot of moisture and while they're eating like scrub stubble and more coarse material. So naturally they have a little bit of grind on their teeth. So right now he's hand floating. Um, so when a horse like Jordy that doesn't have much going on that needs a dressing, use a hand float because he was just filing like, those back teeth a little bit because he had pretty smooth round front teeth that didn't need a whole lot of work. Now he's using the drill on those back teeth. Um, that's used for a little more heavy duty grinding and it was a lot more efficient if they have more going on in their mouth and need a lot more help. Uh, so horses get 
sharp teeth or sharp points in their teeth and that can cause a lot of discomfort. It can cause issues when you're riding them. It can cause issues for them eating. Um, sometimes can lead to infections, all kinds of stuff. So um, that's why we do this yearly. So this is the strangle shot. When they're not sedated, it's a whole lot more dramatic. Giant. See all that green and stuff from where she's been eating. So they can get a good view up in there. A lot of times it'll kind of settle once you get started and you switch over to the You can see the little white spots. That's kind of where I took the points down. And uh huh. I didn't make an aggressive bit seat because she's not going to, you know, you're not. Right, right. She's a brood mare. But all along the outside edge, like where my thumbs are, uh huh. We just smooth those down. The uh, upper teeth are wider than the lower teeth. Mm hmm. So the midsection and the inside of the upper teeth have something to grind on. Right. And it's the lower, the lower teeth. The outside sits outside of the margin of this lower arcade so it doesn't have anything to grind on so they continue to grow mm -hmm. make it sharp right sleepy girl indy we're just checking on so when they turn two we start checking to see if they need floating and if they need their wolf teeth taken out sometimes before that sometimes after that just depends on when they come in but um ginger is two so it's time for her to start being a big girl and getting big girl checkups she needs it yeah and then next week, hopefully, we'll start the process of breeding ginger. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, I want to do the one in the nose. Should we be done? What was her name again? Ginger. Cool, baby. Does she need, has she had a Coggins before? And does she need pictures? She's never been anywhere, so probably needs one. But I mean, if she's just gonna be broodmare, does she need one? Uh, if she's going anywhere to get bread, she's staying here in the middle. She'd stay here. All right, she doesn't need one. You just toss that. Winston, get out of here. Get out of here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's not a fan. <laughs> You're gonna slobber all over me. <laughs> she looks like a little racetrack filly, doesn't she? That's not what we want. <laughs> I know. She's just lean. Yeah. We feed the crap out of her too. She's just going up. I mean, she's like 15 hands at 12 months old. He has wolf teeth too. Yeah, we want to go ahead and get him feeling good because he's very talented. I noticed that because he, he didn't always step through. I don't know, it's Fence like, otherwise known as Lucy. Okay. 
Gracie, you're not gonna like me. Do, do you want to kiss a baby horse, Matthew? Yes. I'll hold him while you kiss his face. Kiss his nose. If the nose is the best. Give me some toy ovens. I'm sorry. It's okay. Here. So, so this is Equiox paste to get him to relax his legs a little bit. So, cause he's, so you said he probably weighs a little less than 250? Can't get it. There we go. Eat it. Don't spit it out. Okay. Good boy. That's the worst thing when you do it, and then they just go. Yep. It's the next big thing on YouTube. Yeah, it's the next big thing. Uh, it's just a little everything, a little, little bit of um, like we're about to get in turkey season, so we're gonna be doing a bunch of that. And horse breeding, falling out, then like cattle stuff will be later in the year, and this summer we'll do a bunch of fishing stuff and just everything. All right. Okay. Well, all right. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Yep, I'll talk to you tomorrow. See y'all. I feel like we probably made that look a lot quicker than it actually was. It started at 10.30 this morning and it is now 3.45. So it was a long day in the barn, very um, monotonous, very just swapping horses in and out, doing the same thing over and over again, but it's gotta happen. We've gotta take care of these ponies that we love so much. So they all got their vaccinations. Most of them got their teeth done, um, aside from a couple of pregnant mares that didn't get um, any of that done because you don't really wanna do that when they're either close to foaling or just been bred. You don't really wanna disturb that. So, you know, Beyonce and Ethel got their shots, but they didn't get teeth done. So got all that done. When we do vaccinations, we do the six way, which is botulism, tetanus, Western and Eastern equine encephalitis, uh, West Nile, strangles. I'm missing one. Hold on. <laughs> we did that all like right off the bat. That was impressive. Eastern, Eastern and Western equine encephalitis, tetanus, botulism, rabies, West Nile, and rhino flu. It was rhino flu, that's what I missed. Um, so those are all the vaccinations that we do for all of our horses. And then our vet practice offers this thing called the Promise Program, which is almost like a colic insurance plan. So all of our horses are on that. It covers um, the colic surgery costs and whatever. And that came in handy for me this year. And yeah, it was a pretty slow day in the barn, but I think it was also a, a very informational day in the barn. It is something that has to be done. And if you're gonna have a horse, then these are things that you really need to know to take care of your animal to the best of your ability. So I would love if you left me some questions in the comments, if you subscribed and liked, and I am so excited to say that my next Groove Life ring is finally out. This is the Poppy and Petunia ring. It came out yesterday. So if you'd like to check that out, you can use Katie VS15 for a discount and I'll have the link below. Thank you for joining me in this episode. I'll see you in the next one.